Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day everyone. I am Nurani Hayati and today I will be presenting the study that conducted by our research team include Dr. Armeria Sari Widiarman, Dr. Carolina Damayanti, Dr. Ihsan Rizal, Dr. Cipta Dioka and Professor Endang Bahtiar and also myself about online education for increasing community knowledge of COVID-19 transmission and prevention. COVID-19 is a novel respiratory disease caused by a single-stranded positive sense ribonucleic acid virus. The major impact of this disease is the fast transmission ability of the virus that infects the lower respiratory tract causing pneumonia, the formation of a cytokine storm, respiratory failure, and eventually death. The highly spreadable characteristic of COVID-19 makes this disease extremely contagious, resulting in a high number of fatalities and the rapid spread of the virus from China to over 210 countries worldwide, including Indonesia. Indonesia announced the first confirmed COVID-19 case in March 2020. As of April, Indonesia had already reached 1,790 confirmed cases. And as for now, until July 2021, Indonesia had already confirmed more than 3 million total cases with 90,000 deaths. And preventive action to control this COVID-19 transmission is of the utmost importance as a crucial intervention. New social behaviors are urgently needed to break the transmission chain. Physical distancing is one of the most effective methods recommended by WHO to stop SARS-CoV-2 transmission. Minimization and effective control of mortality and morbidity thus requires changes in behavior that are influenced by perceptions and knowledge about this disease. COVID-19 crisis has resulted in a significant increase in online learning, and this study administered a remote online education program to evaluate the effectiveness of this approach in changing people's physical distancing behaviors. Online education was delivered to the general public, leaders, and public figures, and it was hoped that various crucial messages in the fight against the transmission of the coronavirus could be spread widely and delivered quickly to all levels of society. The aim of this study is to analyze the impact of online education on increasing community knowledge and awareness of social distancing. The methodology, um, this pre post community intervention study administered online education via video conferencing on the Zoom application. 44 community leaders from four districts in the Jakarta capital city area joined the online education program and the respondents were asked to fill out a questionnaire containing multiple questions presented using Google Docs to assess their knowledge about COVID-19 both before and after engaging the online education program. This study was approved by the Ethics Commission Review Board of the Faculty of Dentistry, Trisakti University. The questionnaire. Um, there are 32 item questionnaire. Pre and post tests were performed, including three, demo three demographic items such as age, gender, and occupation, eight items on knowledge and attitudes toward COVID-19, nine items on virus transmission, nine items on COVID-19 prevention, and five items on practices for the prevention of COVID-19 infection. We examined the validity of the questionnaire using appropriate predefined variables with a Cronbach's alpha of 0.68. Google Docs was used to create the online questionnaire 
And afterwards, researchers downloaded the real-time questionnaire responses, which were then analyzed using descriptive statistics as frequencies and percentages. Descriptive statistics were conducted as frequencies and percentages to demonstrate the community's responses regarding knowledge and attitude, virus transmission, and COVID-19 prevention. Means and standard deviation were used to present the overall knowledge scores, and chi-square and pair t-tests were used to investigate the impact of online education on the level of knowledge regarding COVID-19 in pre- and post-tests with statistical software. All the analyses were performed using IBM SPSS and with a p-value of below 0 0.05 was considered statistically significant. Uh, 44 leaders participated in the pre- and post-test demographic features include 33 females and 7 males in age are range from 20 to 60 years old. The findings revealed that knowledge increased after the intervention with the online education program. The number of participants with correct responses to the knowledge-related questions had significantly increased with P below 0 0.05 after the intervention. The knowledge of the respondents regarding the virus and attitude had significantly increased after the online education. And the knowledge of the respondents regarding virus transmission also significantly increased after online education. Most of the respondents' knowledge regarding virus prevention was reasonably good, although after the intervention there was an increase in their knowledge, but it was not statistically significant. The knowledge of the respondents regarding virus transmission. Also, there was significant increase of knowledge within the participants detected with the percentage of correct answer in the post-test. There were several significant increases of knowledge about the basic knowledge of COVID-19 after taking online education. And then... In this pandemic area, behavioral responses are formed by knowledge on how this virus spreads and presents in, in symptoms. Apparently, individuals with greater knowledge of this outbreak have been found to show more intention to comply with physical distancing and quarantine restrictions during this pandemic. Therefore, it is crucial to provide health education and create awareness during such situation to prevent disease spread effectively. Our findings indicate a significant increase in level of people's knowledge and awareness of COVID-19, specifically public's knowledge of the severity of certain disease condition as much as 25% and virus transmission method as much as 15%. However, most participants had decreasing knowledge of fever as one of the COVID-19 symptoms, as much as 77, I'm sorry, 7.5%. This finding emphasized the need to continue to encourage and maintain public education in order to prevent the spread of the virus. In the pretest, half of the respondents were not aware of the less common symptoms of the disease and the existence of asymptomatic patients. However, they were aware of the main symptoms of SARS-CoV-2 infections. Many studies have indicated that finding asymptomatic patients is the key point of the disease prevention and control. Therefore, the comprehension of COVID-19 of knowledge of COVID-19 symptoms becomes very important for the control of disease transmission. On this study, online education has significantly improved respondents' knowledge on this subject. 
another set of questions that the respondents poorly answered in the pretest was regarding to pregnancy and SARS-CoV-2 infection. The disease has been associated with a higher risk of iatrogenic preterm birth, caesarean delivery, and serious SARS-CoV-2 related complications in pregnant women. Cases of vertical transmission from infected mothers to newborns were also reported, though at very low rate. With the high pregnancy rates in Indonesia, information on the infection risk in this group should be made known to the public. In this study, the low knowledge levels of the study respondents, as shown, as shown in the pretest, improved significantly after online education. WHO has provided a guide for preventing the transmission of COVID-19. The WHO has recommended that every person should avoid groups of people, maintain physical distancing of at least one meter. According to a study by Chu et al., the transmission of the virus was significantly lower when physical distancing was applied. Moreover, the protection was elevated as the distance was added. In the present study, there was an increase in knowledge about COVID-19 pre- and post-test intervention prevention by online education, although this change was not significant. And all the subjects also demonstrated good knowledge of practice regarding prevention of COVID-19, such as wearing masks, practicing physical distancing, using hand sanitizer in public spaces, and washing hands with soap after returning from public spaces, the lowest percentage of subjects engage in the practice of changing clothes before entering the house and having contact with family, as much 75%. And we can make the conclusion that online education programs are an effective way of increasing people's knowledge and awareness of COVID-19. This program is encouraged to be implemented in other areas to support government instructions, especially in areas with high COVID-19 prevalence in Indonesia. And these are the references that used in this presentation. And that's all my presentation. Thank you for your time and attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.